There is a cautious calm in Chellanam, a fishing hamlet in Arnakulam district of Kerala. A huge seawall now shields much of the coast from the increasingly unpredictable Arabian Sea. Sitting on top of a granite base are numerous concrete tetrapods weighing more than 2 tons each. They are placed carefully in position and locked with each other to create a formidable structure. Why have these curiously shaped tetrapods been placed here in this particular stretch of coastline? Located a few kilometers south of the Cochin estuary, Chellanam is a narrow piece of land wedged between the sea and the backwaters. For decades now, the village has been battered by sea erosion and flooding, particularly during the monsoon. Life has been hell for people during rough sea periods. Lewis, a fisherman who is 70 years old, says, it has been like this ever since he can remember. His own house has been flooded and sand deposits from past floods can still be seen in his backyard. Hundreds of houses have been ravaged over the years and many families have abandoned homes and moved elsewhere. <laughs> The existing granite seawall was largely ineffective and wasn't tall or strong enough to break the waves during storms. Now, a huge project worth around Rs 344 crore is underway to shield Chellanam with a tetraport seawall. It has been designed in consultation with the National Centre for Coastal Research and is constructed in two phases. Once both phases are completed, the seawall will be 10 km long and is expected to have a 6.6 km walkway on top of it. So far, this new structure has done well to shield the coast from violent waves this monsoon and people like Lewis are breathing a sigh of relief. Not quite. The Chellanam Janaki Avedi, a citizens collective, has been protesting for a permanent solution to sea erosion for the last three years. But they are not convinced by the new wall. They fear that more erosion will slum the wall. They are largely blaming the regularly dredged shipping channel and harbour of the Cochin port for the increased erosion in Chalanam. Janaki Avedi's working chairman, Joseph Jain Kunnel, says the Tetra Port Wall project is a knee-jerk reaction by the government to quell the protest rather than a permanent solution. In Although a few breakwaters are being constructed at certain points as part of the Chellanam project, Joseph claims that it won't be enough in the long term. However, Dr. M. V. Ramanamurthy, the director of the National Centre for Coastal Research, who has studied Kerala's coastline for more than 20 years, adds that the risk of further erosion due to dredging of the port has been factored into the design of the Chellanam project. Nevertheless, Dr. Murthy emphasizes 
that beach nourishment is necessary to offset the impact of any artificial structures that block the natural movement of the sand along the coast known as longshore sediment transport. One important point for any nature-based solution is the sand which is moving along the coastline, we should make the sand available to the coast, not in the offshore. Many times what happens is ports and harbors when they dredge the sand, because that no dredger can come to the close to the coast, they go and deposit the sand in the deep sea. That means this sand is permanently lost to the coastal system. That is why we are facing all this kind of erosion phenomena. More developments, more dumping of the sand into the sea, which is dredged from the harbors, then you will have more problem around the coastline. So what is the best option is you can have all this kind of hard or hybrid solutions, but ultimately sand management is the management which is important factor which to be maintained for the restoration and maintaining the coast is the first aspect. Second aspect is we should not build the, any kind of fishing harbors or port harbors where it is essentially not required. Where it is required, you can always go and build that. If you keep on building so many harbors, then you will only have a harbors and then structures all along the coastline, you will not have a natural beach. Although the port is partly responsible for Chellanam's plight, he places the larger share of the blame on climate change and its impact on the Arabian Sea's weather pattern during the northeast monsoon from October to December. <laughs>